friends, it's Bobby from the Canton Library of the Multnomah County Library System, and today I'm going to read a story to you. It's called Sleep Tight, Charlie, and it's by Michael Escoffier and, the, and Chris DeGiacomo. This is a silly book. If you have ever come to a story time of mine, you know I like silly books. So Sleep Tight, Charlie is no exception. Let's get started. gonna assume that this is Charlie. Charlie appears to be a rabbit wearing roller skates, carrying a kite, an anchor, and some other things. I have no idea what they are. But there's a pair of scissors and a fork and flowers sticking out of his pocket. Let's see what Charlie's all about. There's Charlie's roller skates. After a busy day, Charlie gets ready for bed. What's Charlie doing? Brushing his teeth, maybe? He's getting ready for bed. Do you brush your teeth before bed? I do. He places a glass of water on his bedside table. Glass of water. He puts his slippers on the rug. Slippers on rug. He makes sure there isn't a monster under his bed. No monster. I do see a cactus, a clock, and a pigeon along with some other things. A pigeon under the bed? He hugs his teddy bear tight. He closes one eye then the other, and then Charlie falls asleep. Can you sleep like Charlie? Charlie awakes with a start. Ah. What is that racket? Tap, 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 tap. Can you see the racket? It's a woodpecker. Pardon me, bird. Do you know what time it is? Sorry, I thought I was alone out here. Well, you're not, and it's bedtime. I am trying to sleep. No problem, says bird, and he flies away. Back at home. Charlie drinks a sip of water. He places his glass back on his bedside table. He puts his slippers on the rug. He makes sure there isn't a monster under his bed. He hugs his teddy bear tight. He closes one eye, then the other, and then Charlie falls asleep. Crunch, 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 crunch. Charlie is wide awake. Look at Charlie. He does not look very happy to me. What do you think? He looks rather upset. Let's see what's outside. 
Excuse me, squirrel. Are you planning to crack nuts all night? Winter is coming. I need food. Crunch, 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 crunch. Winter is six months away. Don't you think it's a bit early? It's never too early. You're right. It's never too early to sleep. Now knock it off. Back at home, Charlie empties his glass of water. He places his teddy bear on his bedside table. That's not where it belongs. He makes sure there isn't a monster under the rug. He hugs his slippers tight. Ew. He closes one eye, then the other, and then Charlie falls asleep. Charlie is awake again. What do you think it is this time? Squeak! What is it? Is it a mouse? It's a little dark. You might not be able to see, but the mouse is on a swing. Hey, mouse! What is this ruckus? It's too late to play on the swings. And you'd better watch out. The big cats come out at night. Really? Squeak. That's it. Quiet! That scared me. At last, silence. Charlie can finally sleep. He puts his slippers in his empty glass. He makes sure there isn't a teddy bear in the bedside table. He hugs his rug tight. The rug. He closes one eye, then the other. And then Charlie falls asleep. Bang, 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 bang. What do you think it is now? Let's find out. Hey buddy, keep it down. Some of us are trying to sleep. Is that the monster under the bed? <laughs> I think it is. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.